Oscar. So, um, yeah, thanks for being here and uh, listening to my talk. So, um, at Block Size Capital, I work as a, yeah, like maintaining chain link node operations. So, that's probably quite alienating for some of the non techie people around. Um, it means that we operate nodes on various blockchains and bring cha like off-chain data um, to smart contracts to consume it and to offer services for the smart contract users. So um, the idea uh, behind that is yeah, very, uh, um, let's say, impactful to my point of view and has a lot of transformative future potential. There is, um, and that's, that's basically the subtitle uh, of my talk, yeah. Um, you can leverage data in smart contracts to provide trust-minimized services way beyond just pure finance or um, DeFi. You can uh, have insurance and other things. Um, and I want to motivate this um, uh, in, during my presentation. So a little bit of um, yeah, uh, info on block size. So we are a German Frankfurt-based company uh, fun, uh, founded by those two guys um, in 2018. That's Christoph Impeckhofen and uh, Christian Labic. Um, besides Chainlink node operations, we do a lot of other things uh, like consulting, um, we provide uh, data, and yeah, we uh, have developed a fairly advanced, um, let's say, core trading infrastructure software. Um, but okay, so I won't go into details about that. Uh, if you feel uh, like you want to talk to us or connect with us, we have a booth, G49. Please come by and have a chat. We are happy to welcome you. So let me let me go uh, through an outline. I, I mean, why bother about bringing off-chain data to to smart contracts? That's the the first uh, step. And okay, it's like a motivational uh, the motivational aspect. Basically, since I'm working in this field, that's well, what 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 is that I think is purposeful about my work. You. Um, your opinions may differ, and I invite you to uh, uh, like ask questions directly, interrupt me um, if you if you uh, have anything that uh, you would like to state or ask me. So I will run you through two applications, um, if time permits, uh, which is trust-minimized audits. They already had been topicized. Um, they are also known as proof of reserves um, and trust minimized insurance. I think there hasn't been any mention as of yet. Um, it's basically a data backed implementation of insurance where you have no intermedia intermediaries. And then uh, I will go into a, a technical uh, problem which is called the Oracle problem um, and its resolution. Uh, this comes about um, when you consider the security you want to have in a uh, trust-minimized environment like smart contract execution, um, and you, you bring data there. So it has to comply with these uh, security guarantees that you expect. So why bother? So it, it might sound cool, uh, we can get off-chain data to smart contracts. Um, but so what? So uh, I, I want to go at this at this uh, motivational question by, yeah, an, an, uh, considering what blockchain technology actually had to offer initially, uh, with, with in the framework of uh, yeah, like trading trading value, trading cryptocurrencies in a trust minimized way. So we we take away the centralized power that controls uh, how much currency there is in circulation, and uh, we take out the intermediaries 
from uh, exchanging value. So the underlying principle from a point of view of data is that the, the mints become in a, in a, a crypto network like Ethereum or, or Bitcoin um, openly auditable and they work uh, programmatically um, according to some consensus protocol. So trust is not needed because you know beforehand how it works. So Web3 and cryptocurrencies and token economy, uh, the data verification process is on transactions. So there is no need for trusting in the execution of a transaction because it's programmatically done. And um, yeah, there is no intermediary that like Swift could say, oh, I don't, don't want to do that transaction. And now uh, comes, the, uh, comes the next step. Uh, when you have real world data available in this trust minimized environment, then you, you can work with a data verification, like consensus protocol on real world and cryptocurrency transaction data. And uh, that enables, because you, you have real world data, enables um, trust minimize exchange um, of, of agreements or uh, things that go far beyond just plain trading or just plain finance. And I, this, this is really, uh, to my point of view, a transformative uh, thing that um, yeah, is uh, something good that might help human society just to become a bit better. So uh, now come the, uh, come the um, two examples that I have. Uh, trust minimized audits or proof of reserves, where an audit, so what, what does it mean, trust minimized? Uh, the, the audit is performed by a third party um, oracle that provides data to a, a smart contract uh, on the, for instance, Ethereum blockchain. And this data, because, yeah, the blockchain is an open ledger. It, it is available to anyone who wants to, who wants to uh, look at it. So if a stable coin, for instance, or a gold token um, makes their bank statement or their vault openly available on the, on the blockchain through a, through a proof of reserves or um, yeah, audit, then um, you, you know, you can yourself basically take a blockchain explorer and look uh, at, the, at the vault. And that's a level of transparency that is uh, not available with um, conventional audits of financial institutions. Because there it's always, yeah, uh, a trust-based thing. So you at least have to uh, trust the, the lawyer or um, the external auditor that, that looked at it. So um, that's, that's the thing about uh, trust minimized audits. Uh, so I have uh, two examples, which is uh, cash.gold, where uh, literally with the tokens, uh, you, you can get a direct um, uh, proof that uh, the, this token is backed by gold, which is in some of their um, vaults. And um, this is the chain link implementation uh, where uh, audits are done for the TUSD stablecoin. Now uh, for trust minimized insurance. Remote sensing data can be used uh, to enable a smart contract implementation um, yeah, that is this intermediate and uh, enables insurance. So the idea there is that the insurance policy holder, uh, in that case, oh, uh, uh, this farmer, <laughs> um, pays a insurance policy fee and uh, via some satellite images that's, that's down here, um, we verify whether there has been a flood or uh, th there has been natural disaster, which uh, sort of is an insurance case. Um, and if this is detected, so there's many satellites, so we can have uh, like a, a 
verified uh, data sourcing. Um, then, programmatically, the farmer will get uh, paid out a insurance claim. And um, yeah, just okay uh, to give this some weight. Uh, there is a, in the chain link um, ecosystem alone uh, already quite some examples that implement this type of parametric insurance. So um, I, I hope that's okay, uh, sort of giving a flavor to what data with smart contracts, like off chain data with smart contracts, um, can enable. Uh, now let's let's get at uh, the like security question: uh, How how can we ensure that uh, the smart contracts stay uh, trust minimized, um, even if there is off-chain data uh, entering entering them? So uh, I put here a, a, a picture of a painting um, of the ancient oracle of Delphi, where uh, Princess Pythia. Uh, told as a single source of information, uh, it, it, she told, um, yeah, like the prophecies or that she learned from the gods or somewhere uh, to pilgrims that were seeking wisdom, and um, yeah, this is this is very much um, like a single data source serving data to a smart contract. So, if this data source is tampered with the um, trust enters like uh, into, into a, actually a trust minimized environment through a backdoor because if the data source was tampered, it could just manipulate the outcome of the smart contract execution at, at will. And um, how, to, how to overcome this uh, problem, yeah, um, it's very easy, the resolution to the Oracle problem is creating decentralized data sourcing. That means we create a network of oracles, each querying different data sources uh, for, for similar or same information. And um, by that, we have a, um, yeah, like a, a, an origination of the, of the data on which we can perform a quality assurance test. Uh, you can think of that similar um, to um, the consensus that is actually done uh, in, a, in a blockchain peer-to-peer uh, -peer, um, consensus protocol. And um, by that, we secure the data. And one implementation of this is the Chainlink decentralized Oracle network. Um, and by that, we yeah, like provide smart contracts with secured, validated um, data to perform their their uh, functions. So um, yeah, that's uh, basically all the content. Uh, those are the people that I'm working with. And yeah, so thanks for listening. Uh, do you have any questions? Hey, Tobias.